If what we're talking about is not impeachable, then nothing is impeachable. You are doing precisely what you're criticizing the president for doing. Legal experts in disagreement on impeachment as they testify before the House Judiciary Committee. This was the first day of public hearings for that committee. Political editor John Delano has been watching today's hearings and has reaction from the only local congressman on that committee. Do President Trump's alleged actions trading American military aid in exchange for a Ukrainian investigation of a political opponent and intervention in the 2020 election amount to an impeachable offense? What has happened in the case today is something that I do not think we have ever seen before. A president who has doubled down on violating his oath. President Trump has committed impeachable high crimes and misdemeanors by corruptly abusing the office of the presidency. Lots of opinions, but not unanimous. If you're going to accuse a president of bribery, you need to make it stick. Former law school dean and now Duquesne University president Ken Gormley, an expert on impeachment, says when it comes to treason, bribery, and high crimes and misdemeanors, there is broad discretion for the House and the Senate to figure out how to, to apply that. Gormley says the founders were rightly concerned about presidents conspiring with foreign leaders to interfere in American public affairs. If you asked any of the framers at the time, absolutely it was uh, viewed as not permissible to use foreign governments to get entangled in our elections, which are the most sacred part of our democracy. But Republicans like Western Pennsylvania Congressman Guy Reschenthaler the only local member of the Judiciary Committee is not convinced President Trump did that. With the current impeachment, the problem that the Democrats are having is they cannot make out an underlying crime. Reschenthaler says no matter what the House does, the Republican Senate will not convict Trump. John Delano, KDKA News.